Hello, I'm going to show you how I utilize Cron to automate an external backup of a running config on my Nokia 7750 with the help of Cron and Ansible. So somebody asked me on my YouTube channel how, how to automate a uh, backup configuration. Now, I started thinking what's the easiest and quickest way to do this with Ansible since that's kind of what I've been into lately. But this is, this. just want to say this is uh, probably for a smaller network or not for a large, you know, uh, enterprise or something like that. Uh, it's got to be a pretty manageable amount of nodes that you're doing this with. You know, there's better options like SAM for Nokia and even SolarWinds can do automated backups, I believe. So... Cron is just a, a job scheduler, so since Ansible is a Unix command, um, you, you can basically schedule your playbooks to run with the help of Cron um, through Linux. So what we're going to do is uh, I'll show you what I've already configured, and then in the, in the comments I'll post everything, and then I'll have a little write-up on this so you can use this for whatever you want to do. So... I'll show you my playbook. And okay, so oops. So this playbook calls for the core routers, which are my hosts. That I've already configured in my host file. Um, it's going to save the current running config. Um, and then it's going to take that config and register it to a variable called config. What's going to happen is this variable is going to use um, Ansible facts, which is this gather facts here. Uh, it's going to use Ansible facts and it's going to create. A, it's going to save the output to a text file and here's the copy command and the destination so you got to make sure this matches in your directory and it's using the variable of the inventory host name and then the fax which is the ansible date and time so this is pretty okay for having um, just you know a few nodes that you're doing but if you're having hundreds of devices, this is going to get pretty messy. So you maybe do a little bit more editing on this and have different layers or folders. Um, so I'll show you what I have now. So I have my router 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, so if I go to router 2, here's a couple different configs from different tests I've done. Um, I, I mean, can you imagine what this would look like after a few months of, a, of saving a config every day? I mean, it's just going to get crazy. So that's what I'm saying. You know, this maybe running like a weekly backup is easier for something like this or, or you know, you want to make sure it's scalable for larger networks. So just remember that. And so there's my playbook. And once this runs... It's going to save the configs uh, individually into these folders based on the host name of the router, which is right now it's my core right here. You can see one, two, three, and four. And let's take a look at my cron job. So uh, like I said in the comments, I'll have a write-up or a link to my, um, my website that will have a write-up on this. And I'll have a little bit more detailed uh, instructions for setting up cron from the beginning and kind of talk about what's going on so let's take a look at what i've got running now so here is the playbook i'm sorry the cron scheduled uh, scheduler and this is calling the ansible playbook command and then a, a path to where the playbook is and then this little tidbit here is basically I, I, I didn't set up the email alerts and so I, when I was looking at my cron log I was getting an error so this eliminates the standard error and the standard output um, so I, 
it's basically not spitting out any more errors when I look at my log and it makes it a little bit cleaner. Um, and so this, um, right now it, I just have it set up for, it's gonna run every minute of every day of every hour, um, just, just for test purposes. So I'll edit it just so we can see this run. So there's my cron tab, and there it is. Um, then I'll pull up my log. So the log for cron is located in var log, and you can just do log, uh, or sorry, cron log, and there's your log. So just ran now. Uh, so if we go back and look at my Ansible directory, and then I go to my folder, my config folder. So here are my routers. So, so there it is. So today's April 6th, 2018. It just ran. So I'll delete it just so we can see it again. And here's the log. So it just ran again. So I maybe I caught it. I don't know. Let me see. All right, let's wait for the next one. So it's a pretty easy thing to set up. Um, I, you know, this is kind of like quick, quick and dirty on the go just to get something going um, to quickly save your backups. Um, setting up cron to automate your automation is kind of a cool little thing to see happen. I mean, you're really not doing anything. It's everything's happening in the background. You're not paying attention. It's just getting done. So, all right, let's see. There it is. So it just ran again. Oh, actually it didn't, it just took some time. So my current playbook is calling to do this on four routers. So that kind of probably made it drag a little bit behind. And then uh, we can see the config. So there you have it, it's spitting out everything that's configured on my box. Um, so this would essentially, you know, what you want to do is um, if you want to make this happen, uh, say uh, once every, once a day at 6 a.m. or something, then you would just make sure you edit that accordingly. And then uh, there's a pretty cool website. Uh, let me see, I have the link somewhere here. So I'll show you. Grontap.guru. And this basically does it for you. So you can click on examples. And you know, if you want to have, have this happen every every midnight, every day at midnight, you know, it just gives you the config, the expressions, and you just copy and paste or whatever. So that's pretty cool. I mean, it's basically it couldn't be done any easier. It's everything's being done for you. So then you just let that sit there and run, and uh, then you got your configs are being backed up daily or whenever you want, once a week, you know, once every couple weeks. So let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.